Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my favorite cleaning products. If you watch my cleaning videos, you probably have seen most of these already, but I will go through and talk about how I use them, where I use them, and why I like them. I'll try to leave a link to them down below. If you'd like to see them, then just keep on watching. I'm sure you have seen me use this plenty of times, but these are the Honest Cleaners. If you click on the link, I think the packaging will be a little bit different, but I think they're just redoing their packaging, but the product is the same. So the first one is the Honest Bathroom Cleaner. I use this for like the sink, the toilet, anything really in the bathroom, the bathtub. I'll use it for that, just spray it and wipe it down. It's really nice. This is in the Eucalyptus Mint scent. It smells really good. and. The reason why I've been liking the Honest products is because I've been trying to switch over to more of like a natural cleaning products. I'm not completely there yet, but hopefully eventually I will be. I've noticed if I spray like a chemical spray in the bathroom, it's almost like I can't breathe. I'll have to turn the air vent on or if there's a window, I'll have to open the window. But a lot of the Honest products are um, plant-based, biodegradable, and non-toxic. So on the back here it says this works great on showers, tiles, tubs, fixtures, chrome, and counters. No harsh chemicals. I also love this Honest Glass and Window Cleaner. This one um, doesn't really have a scent to it, but um, it is streak free. A lot of times if I don't have my bathroom cleaner, I'll even spray this on the countertops or the fixtures and just use that. And it's been really great as well. I also found the Honest Multi-Surface Cleaner. and this one the scent is white grapefruit. That smells great as well too. This one as well can be used for countertops, toys, high chairs, walls, wood, floors, porcelain, granite, electronics, and grills. So this is also a great cleaner. And these are safe to use like if you have kids. On Instagram, I've been following, I think the name is Inspire Me Home Decor, I believe. If you follow her, you notice she loves this Hope's Perfect Glass and that's what she uses to clean like her glass table. So I picked that up. I actually got mine from Bed Bath & Beyond and it was only $5, so it's a really good price. And I've been liking this as well. So I'll switch in between this and the Honest Glass Cleaner. I found the Hope's Perfect Kitchen, I believe in Marshall's, this was $3.99. And I've been using this on my countertops in my kitchen. And it doesn't really have a scent, which is nice. Sometimes the sprays can have like a really strong scent. And it's just like after you clean your kitchen, you walk away and it just like, it's really strong. And for me, it gives me a headache. So I'll usually use this for my countertops or the Honest Multi-Surface Cleaner. And I'll switch in between. Next I have this Mrs. Meyers multi-surface cleaner and the scent is apple cider. I picked up their other spray, it was in the scent honeysuckle and it smelled good but it was too strong. I've been using this furniture polish in a lemon scent. I have dark furniture in my room and I've noticed if I use like any of the regular sprays like some of the multi-surface sprays it doesn't leave like a shine. It'll wipe it off, but it's not its not shiny after. This one just leaves a nice shine to the furniture and it looks better. And the lemon scent isn't too strong either. I love using the magic eraser. This thing is seriously like magic, especially for like my bathtubs, my sinks, anything that's white, the walls, any marks anywhere. It's, it seriously is amazing. A couple months ago, I went to visit my parents. I was repainting my mom's bathroom, so I went through and just cleaned the whole thing and just you know, bought, bought new like soap dispensers and just kind of revamped it a little bit. And I got this magic eraser and I cleaned the entire shower and her bathtub with it. And my mom was like, what did you use? And I was like, the magic eraser. Literally, that's all I use. Just some water and the magic eraser. And even my dad was like, wow, it looks like a new shower. And it really does clean very well, especially if you have any like water stains or things that are hard to get rid of. It works amazing. Even on my bathtub, after I'll take a bath, I'll try to just take a magic eraser, wipe it down right away. If I don't get to it right away, I'll do it later on. But I've noticed as well my bathroom sinks because my husband, he'll be working outside or working on the car and his hands get really dirty and our sinks are white. I feel like if I just spray it with a cleaner and wipe it down, it'll be clean, but I feel like those harsh stains still stay on it. So I'll just, again, just get a wet magic eraser, wipe it down, and it looks great. I also use these for my kitchen sink. Same thing, I'll just clean it after I wash the dishes, but I noticed after a while, it gets stained, obviously from all the food and grease and everything that goes to the sink. 
I'll just take a wet magic eraser and wipe it down and it looks great. I mean, there are so many ways you could use this. For my kitchen stove, if I ever have food that's burnt on there, um, I'll show you in a second what else I use, but I'll use a magic eraser. If, if, if my walls are scuffed up, I'll use it on that. Sometimes, you know, your baseboards. I'll notice like the door's going outside. Again, if my husband or I'm coming in with like dirty hands from outside, you know, obviously you try not to get it dirty. But after a while, our door is white, so you'll notice like a spot on it. I'll use it on that. There's so many ways you can use this, and again, I use these all the time. What I'll do is I'll cut them in half and leave one little piece like under my kitchen sink and one under my bathroom sink. It's really easy cleaning, like if I'm in a rush and I don't have time to clean the whole bathroom, I'll just take out the sponge, wipe down the sink really quick, and it looks nice and clean. I'm sure you've seen me using this in my cleaning videos as well. My mom has always used this to clean her stovetop. And at first I was like, mom, there's a cleaning spray, so why are you using baking soda? And she's like, it's the only thing that works for me. So eventually when I had my own kitchen, I noticed I started to reach for this as well. Whenever I have something spill on my stove and it gets like burnt on there or even inside the oven, I have a spray bottle that I mix some water and dish soap and I'll just spray that, get it wet and put some baking soda on there and let it sit for a little while and then just scrub it off. Same thing with the stove top. I use this as well for the shower. And same thing, I'll just take my spray bottle with the water and dish soap, spray down my shower, and then sprinkle this on there, let it sit for a couple minutes, take a brush and scrub it. And it works great. It leaves it nice and clean, and I'm not using any harsh chemicals. When I'm washing the floors by hand, like with a rag, I like to put a little bit of lemon oil in the water, and it looks great on my floors. It leaves them nice and shiny, it's clean, and it smells great, but it's not that overpowering, harsh smell. I used to use those plug-in wall scents, but same thing, I felt like they were just so overpowering. It was so strong to the point where it was like hard to breathe, where you'd have to open the windows to get some fresh air. Maybe it's just me, I am kind of picky with my smells, especially candles. If they're too strong, I just get headaches easily. So what I've been doing is putting oils in my diffuser. So a lot of times, either while I'm cleaning or after I'm done cleaning, I'll put some oils in the diffuser, turn that on, and the house smells great and refreshed. I have a diffuser in the office. I have one in my bedroom. I'll sometimes put one in my kitchen once I'm done cleaning. And I like citrusy, fresh scents. So what I've been putting in there is I have some grapefruit oil. I have some wild orange. I have one that's called Purify, it's like a cleansing blend, and the lemon, and I'll mix those, and the house just smells so fresh, so clean, and it's not like an overpowering smell. If I'm ever in a hurry and I need to clean the floors quick, or I don't have time to take out my steam mop or wash them by hand, I like to use the Swiffer, and I get these Swiffer wet jet wipes, and this scent is in the lavender vanilla, and again, this smells good, but sometimes it gets a little too strong. So that's why I like to use just the plain lemon and water and wash my floor with that and it smells nice and refreshing. But again, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just reach for these. It works great because the Swiffer is very thin and it's easy to go under the bed or under the couches and it does the job. I also love using my Shark Steam Mop. My sister actually got me one when I was leaving to college and I got an apartment and I love it. It's so easy to use. You just plug it in. Mine has three settings. It has the dust, mop, and scrub. I usually turn it on the mop setting. And at first I was a little bit scared to ruin my floors, but I've had no problems at all. I also use it on my tile in the bathroom, and it really is amazing how well it cleans the floors. I also love my Dyson vacuum. I've wanted one for such a long time. My sister had one, and I've seen so many videos of people using one. And I have a lot of wood floors in the house. I don't really have much carpets unless they're like area rugs. And my floors are dark, so you can see everything on them really easily. And I noticed when I would sweep, you still see so much dust on them. I just got to the point where I was like, I need something that'll make my floors look nice and clean without me having to wash them every day. So my husband actually surprised me and got me one of them, and I absolutely love it. If you ask me what my favorite tool or piece of equipment in my house was, I would tell you it's my vacuum. I use it every day, sometimes not even joking, like five times a day. If I'm in the kitchen cooking and there's stuff on the floor, I'll just grab it, vacuum it up quick. If we're walking in and out of the house and there's dirt coming in, I'll just take the vacuum and clean it up quick. 
and it has like a little charging station I have it hanging in my office and as soon as I'm done I just hang it right back up there it's out of the way it's not big and bulky it's thin so again it's easy to go under my bed under the couches it has different attachments so it's easy for me to vacuum like my baseboards my moldings if I can't reach I mean it, it really is amazing mine is the Dyson V7 and I believe this one lasts for 20 minutes I've never personally had it die on me. I can vacuum my whole house and I've never had it lose charge. And what I try to do as soon as I'm done using it, I'll hang it back up on the charging station. There's a new one that came out, I believe it's the Dyson V8. And that one lasts for 40 minutes. So if you have a bigger house or you feel like yours is dying quick, you can get that one that might last you a little bit longer. And again, I've never had any problems with this one. When I first got mine and I used it a couple times, the first thought that came to my mind was, my mom needs this. Because she's getting older, it really is just so easy to use. It's not heavy, it's easy to clean. And my sisters and I actually got my mom one for Christmas and she loves it as well. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all next time.